What's up everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad89 here. And for today's video, we are here to talk about the bad boy himself, Ghostface. We're going to talk about the first Scream film from 1996 all the way back and because we are getting our new one, Scream 5 or what people are calling it, 5 Cream, you know, trying to get that 5 on there. <laughs> but this is definitely an iconic film we want to talk about and before we get down into Scream, the first one, let's talk about like where I am as a Scream fan because I'm a huge horror fan. I love slashers and I'm a huge fan of Scream 1 and 2 and not a huge fan of Scream 3 and 4. <laughs> so that's where I lay with the franchise. I don't love it or adore it. I really, like I said, I really love the first two. Really do. Scream 1 and 2 are like top notch for me, but Scream 3 and 4, I'm just like... Uh, so for me, I'm very eager to see this new one because I want to see if they can revitalize the franchise for me and bring in something new. Like I'm really expecting the best since one and two. Like that's what I want. My expectations is, are I want this to be the best film since one and two kind of thing. You know what I mean? It'd be better than three and four. Like I like it doesn't have to be better than Scream One or better than Scream Two, but if it can match them in terms of my enjoyment. I'll be cool with the new film. So let's get into this. My chat, of course, we're going to be talking spoilers today of the first Scream. So if you haven't seen it, like, what the hell are you doing here? Go run out and watch that film so we can talk about it. So Scream 1 from 1996. This is directed by Wes Craven and written by Kevin Williamson, starring Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, David Arquette. We have a whole host of other people, too, like Rose McGowan and Jamie Kennedy. This... This movie is littered with like some of the best cast you can have in a first film for a franchise for sure. You know what I mean? Because like, you know, Wes Craven, you know, The Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, you know, Sean S. Cunningham and even Halloween. Like they have like gems here and there, one or two. But this whole entire cast of Scream is like it screams 90s and it has, like I said, it's littered with a bunch of people and they did all kinds of movies outside of this franchise. So that's what makes this one even more important, too, is like it's like not just the starting point for a lot of them. But like I said, it really is kind of like the home for them, all these kind of actors and actresses and stuff. And for real, like 1996, this is kind of, I was really young at this age, so I didn't get a chance to see Scream in theaters, the first one. Like, I really didn't get a chance to see this one in theaters, so I think it was like renting it on home video. We had like a blockbuster video and a video update near my house when I was a kid. So I would go there and rent like new slashers once I got turned on to Friday the 13th and then zombie films. Like, I would go rent new slashers, you know, Jason, Texas Chainsaw, and then once Scream came out, that first one, we rented it, you know what I mean? And I was able to watch it and stuff. So my first experience with it was just, I knew it was something really inventive and really new because when I was watching it, I was so used to slashers at that time and all kinds of stuff that I've seen. I was kind of like desensitized. And when I watched this one, it wasn't like I was scared, but that opening sequence is pretty terrifying. Like that opening sequence with Drew Barrymore was like great. And the voice on the phone, like it's just so good. Like that, that whole intro is one of the greatest intros, I think, for just about any horror movie of any time. And like as the movie carries on, you meet these other characters like Matthew Lillard's character, Skeet Ulrich, Nev, Nev Campbell, like all of them are so realistic and have such great dialogue, like I said, written by Kevin Williamson. So that assists in making the film feel very real. So when I was watching it, I was like, damn, like this feels like it could be like any high school. This feels like it could be happening. Like it just made it that much more terrifying, kind of like Halloween, you know, in that realm. Because when I watch Friday the 13th, I don't get scared at all. When I watch Jason, I'm all on Jason's side. I love watching those films and it's it's more of like popcorn flick, like almost action vibe that I get out of watching Friday the 13th. Nightmare on Elm Street, I think it's very hilarious because Freddy Krueger has all these crazy one-liners and he's spouting them off all the time. But Ghostface is the closest one, I think, to kind of like that John Carpenter Halloween feel where it's actually kind of a creepy vibe, a scary thing because this guy could be anybody and you, like I said, you could just be a stranger. He could have just picked you for any reason and you're going down that night. But as you can tell, I am very high on this first film. And even the second one, when we get into talking about that one, I'll be popping out like a little video about that one too. But this first one, like I said, is a banger for me, like in terms of vibes and like everything, like 
damn, like this is like easy, like probably like a 10 out of 10 film for me, like for me in terms of horror, in terms of slasher, in terms of how important it was, it really did revitalize horror because horror kind of like died out. There's good stuff in the 90s, but it's more underground, straight to video. There wasn't like big mainstream stuff. You know, the biggest thing I think was probably like Silence of the Lambs, but that's more of a thriller. You know what I mean? I wouldn't classify that as hardcore horror. Scream lands in at that slasher t territory and it really did bring it back to life. You know what I mean? Even though we had Candyman 2 and Hellraiser going out, going on throughout the 90s, like this is the one that really brought it back to life and made it big time. So even the music in this, it carried on because even Halloween H2O has a very similar score to the Scream movies and stuff like that. But Thanks for sticking around with me, y'all, for this chat of the first Scream film, 1996. In the comments section, let me know what you thought of this film. Are you excited for the new Scream 5 Cream? Are you going to be there first weekend? Or are you going to wait and catch it like on demand kind of thing and not go see it in theaters? So let's, let me know what you all thought. And like I said, if you are a fan of the Scream franchise <laughs> and all that stuff, don't forget to like and subscribe too so you don't miss a thing. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.